A Connecticut nurse has lost her nursing license after she gave a fatal dose of morphine to a patient. So a nurse at the Waterbury Hospital in Connecticut gave a patient 100 milligrams of morphine in about an hour. The doctor's order called for the patient to receive two milligrams of morphine as an initial dose to be increased every 15 minutes to a maximum dose of 10 milligrams. The nurse overrode the pump. So if you don't know about IV pumps, IV pumps come with two different limits on there, soft limits and hard limits. Hard limits, you can't get past it. The machine won't let you. Soft limits, on the other hand, you can override them. When the pump prompted the nurse like, hey, basically this is the, the pump saying, hey, are you sure you want to do this? She over it, overrode what the pump suggested. Now. When you're given control medications like morphine, it requires a second nurse to sign off. That nurse is supposed to check the pump and they're either going to tap their badge, which would constitute as their signature, or they're going to uh, sign in and put their password in the computer, verifying that they checked the pump and the doctor's order and the right dose is and medication and all of that stuff is being given. Now, the nurse lost her license after the panel voted to have the license revoked. I think only one person voted in her favor. And they reviewed her documentation, and the documentation showed that, yes, there were some pressures on the floor. She was on a med search floor. I believe it was one to six. I believe there could have been some staffing issues. But the documentation also showed that the pump continued to beep for various different reasons, which also meant she had numerous reasons to go back and make sure that everything was okay with the patient and could have possibly corrected her error. Now, when you're putting patients on medications such as morphine, you need to look out and make sure that you're monitoring that patient closely, especially for the first hour, because a lot of patients can be opioid naive. So that even if she had gotten the dose correctly, the patient could have potentially still had a reaction because people react to opioids or medications in the hospital setting very differently. Now, this is one of the reasons why I say that dosage calculation, I know sometimes people come on here and say you never use dosage calculation in, real, in the real world. You do, right? This is why dosage calculation is so important because giving 100 milligrams of morphine at the bedside should have sent off red flags because that's just something you're just not going to do. And one of the most important classes that you are going to take in nursing school is assessment, right? You're putting a patient on an, a morphine drip. You have specific instructions to increase the medication over a period of time. You should be reassessing the patient to make sure one, that their pain is being handled and two, they're able to tolerate the medication. Let me know down in the comments, is her losing the license too much?